Salutations, Nicky Keys. Welcome back to another video. And today we are doing the FNAF Plus Showcase. I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the support all over these last little bit. And I'm super excited to get into this. Uh, we have a lot of great plushes. And yeah, make sure you guys follow the Discord. Um, link in the description below if you guys want to be part of this. Send me your customs. And yeah. Without further ado, let's get into this. Alright, first up, we have a Night Guard plushie. You don't see a lot of those. This is really well done, honestly. I like the cartoon look that it was given. I really like how it was given a frown. It's like, oh, fuck. Because, like, it, it, like, the security guard knows he's fucked, no matter what he does, because there's always going to be so many animatronics after him. Anyways, uh, this is a very unique plush. I like the blue that it was given. It was, like, a tealish. Um, and also, um... It's really well done. The head shape is very nice. The hat, love it. And the, even, it even has a suit. It looks really good all around. All around, great plush and yeah. All right, next up we have a set of four of like that Arcade Mayhem from FNAF VR and they look amazing. We have VR Toy Freddy, High Score Toy Chica, and System Error Toy Bonnie and 8-bit baby they all look so good like VR toy Freddy has a VR headset of course and it's purple and black I love it it really 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 looks so good it just makes me want an official one and high score toy Chica looks creepy as fuck but still all nonetheless looks amazing as usual and yeah next up we have high uh, system error toy bonnie and i love the red it was given it looks so good i love it i love it love it love it love it love it i would love to see a red bonnie in the future well even though we already have one just like i want an actual plush of system error toy bonnie please please make that happen i would love it and last and definitely not least we have 8-bit baby it looks so good the facial features all look um, 8-bit, like the hair, the body. It looks really good. And it, like, I, it's not custom from the baby plush. And, like, all of these are handmade. All four of them. And they look fantastic. Great job. Alright, next up we have another four set of characters from the VR game. We have Easter Bonnie, Choco Bonnie, Shamrock Freddy, and Freddy Frostbear. Okay, Easter Bonnie looks incredible. I love it, love it, love it, love it. I really want to make one for myself, but apparently one's coming out officially, so I'm not going to. Um, but it looks really good. Love the yellow bow tie. Um, it looks really cute. I just love the thought of, like, Bonnie as an Easter Bunny. It's so adorable. And Choco Bonnie looks amazing as well. All I got the proper colors. Blue bow tie. White eyes, that orange nose that we all know and love. It's and even some of his ears gone. It's perfect. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Next up is Shamrock Freddy. Very happy that he was a character. I'm very happy that we finally have a submission of him on this channel. I love it. It looks adorable. I really, 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 really like Shamrock Freddy, and I hope that he actually gets an official plush in the future because like he's he's adorable. <laughs> And last, and definitely, definitely, definitely not least, Freddy Frostbear. This looks amazing. Yet again, all these are handmade. And Freddy Frostbear looks incredible. I love it. You did my favorite character proud. All right, next up is now actually technically officially FNAF since Scott's uh, FNAF Fanverse initiative. We have another four set. We have, actually, no, it's a set of five. Never mind. We have... The Joy Creation characters. We have Ignited Freddy, who looks incredible. Um, the colors look amazing. The bow tie, and even like the missing bottom jaw. And uh, we have Ignited Bonnie, adorable. Oh well, as adorable as Ignited Bonnie can be, but still looks great nonetheless. We have Ignited Foxy, and he looks really, really. Uh, really really good. I love the detail and like he this person paid close attention to detail on this and I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it 
And next up we have Ignited Chica, probably one of the creepiest ones of the bunch. And this one is probably one of the better ones in the set. My favorite so far is Ignited Freddy. But I love this plush, it looks really good. And last and definitely not least, we have Creation. It looks so good. Like, great job. Great job making these plushies. Alright, next up we have a set of two. We have a Bon Bon and Bonnet. I'm very happy that uh, Bon Bon Bonnet now like are, have like their own little plushies like where so they could be buddies. I know Bonnet already has a plush, but like this one's different because it was, um, Bonnet was given a pose as well as Bon Bon, and they both look adorable beside each other. Like I, they're some of the cutest characters in the series in my opinion. But they just look so nice together. Great job all around. I love how the big button in the middle of the belly is it's so cute so 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 cute great job next up we have a really awesome jack obani i fucking love this thing it like the colors spot on the teeth great job they even got the whiskers and like the open orange eyes the orange bow tie they got the little bit of brown on the body and the face and they got the ears, and like it looks amazing all around. Great, amazing job. Jack Bonnie is one of my favorite characters, and one of the most creepiest in my opinion. The better of the Jackos, also in my opinion. But uh, nope, Jacko Chica got uh, all the attention. I'm okay with that. I like Jacko Chica, but like Jack Bonnie, I like way, way more. This looks super good. And wait to fit the theme. It's almost October, so that means we're almost going to be into Halloween. Um, all in all, great job, buddy. All right, next up we have a simple custom. We have a Rockstar Foxy. Yeah, I know um, Rockstar Foxy already has a plush, but this was pretty well done. They have um, a star on the belly where uh, Rockstar Foxy is supposed to. Uh, the peg leg on Foxy's foot. And also the little parrot plushie. And I'm actually happy that they used the base, uh, the Foxy base model of this instead of just buy the official because this uh, this Foxy looks better. So like, it would be better to base it off that. And like the colors on this Foxy are more accurate to Rockstar Foxy's. So it looks really good. It also makes us think what it would be like if it was just a recolor. Next up we have two more from the of uh, AR game we have Liberty Chica and flamethrower endo they both look amazing uh, Liberty Chica is like has like all the Chica features just like with like a flatter body with no legs but like it's because it's wearing she's wearing a dress love the green arms the green beak the uh, crown if like they make like a like a liberty cupcake that'd be fucking perfect for, for her and even got the matte eyebrows it looks super accurate to the official chica this is handmade by the way yeah yeah great job the yeah um the colors are very very accurate spot on next up we have flamethrower endo which we don't have an official endo plush to go off of at the moment but i love how this turned out it looks so good it kind of looks like the one uh, like that endo plush we saw a while ago in one of the like i think it was the second uh, plush showcase it looks really good um i love the mask over its face uh, it's cute little eyes poking out and it's all orange yellow and i think lighter orange i don't know uh, I think it's lighter orange, but like um, it makes it gives it the impression that it's actually on fire. Great job. Speaking of things on fire, me. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, we have another Jack O'Bonnie. Like this one looks amazing. It looks so good. The eye, it got like the inner eye and the pupil. It's got the muzzle, little cute black nose like the my, the brown color all around and then like the orange uh like the orange complements it super well the ears little tears in it the red bow tie it looks great i love it it looks so adorable it makes me really want an official one even more like great great job on jack Obani. you did the character justice great great job all right next up we have nightmare chica 
Here's the one that was made by uh, like completely from scratch. So far, all of these have been, but I love it. Um, this one looks really good. Like, unfortunately, we didn't get uh, Nightmare Chica, but here we have one right now. We have a really good one with um, the teeth look really nice, the bibs all cut up, and the body looks incredible. I love the feet, um, the uh, different colored eyes. It looks incredible all around. Um, hopefully Funko goes back and makes an official one, but if not, then just follow this guy's lead. Amazing job. All right, and last and definitely not least, we have Nightmare on. It looks super good. I really like the mask. It looks very, very nice. Uh, they got the black tears, the, the big smile, the white pupils, and the very, very thin, well, sorry, like the thin, thin fingers that they decided to give it in plush form. It looks really good. And the legs, it looks adorable. It's basically the chibi version of Night Marion, and great job. Most people just customize a marionette, but nope. This one looks incredible. Great job all around. All right, and that's going to do it for today's video and the showcase. I want to say thank you guys all so much for watching. But before we get into anything further, all credit goes to the people who made the plushes. Not me. Don't say good job me because I didn't do any of this. This was the people who made the plushes. Say great job to them. With, with that being said, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys all for submitting. If you guys want to submit yourself, link in the description below to my Discord server where you guys will be able to submit your own plushes and also just talk and uh, be there for like when I'm able to stream. So you guys will be able to be the first ones to watch a video or watch the stream. So I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe. All that good stuff. And please consider joining the Nick family for almost daily gaming content. I love you guys all, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Or all the credits.